bilingual web magazine, Dig Tokyo. Books in Magazines 007. Books written in English by Japanese authors. Famous books on Japan to read before you're 30. 2. 1. Prologue. In the first installment of this series, I wrote about Edo period kokugaku scholar Motori Norinaga and the father of modern Japanese literary criticism, Kobayashi Hideo. In this second article, I will be writing about books on Japan and the Japanese identity, written in English by Japanese authors. Following the Meiji Restoration, Japan was determined to catch up to Western powers. The government and the people joined forces to modernize the country. As part of that process, Japanese intellectuals wrote numerous books in English about Japanese culture and thought in order to help their counterparts from the West better understand their country and their national identity. Now, in the 21st century, I feel that these books have as much to offer the Japanese themselves as they do foreigners, especially given the fact that confidence and self-esteem seem to be at an all-time low. 2. Representative Men of Japan Uchimura Kanzo's seminal book spotlights the lives of five iconic figures in Japanese history. Samurai in Satsuma Domain, modern-day Kagoshima Prefecture, Hiro, Saigo Takamori, Exemplary Edo Period Daimyo Uesugi Yozan, 19th Century Agricultural Leader and Thinker Ninomiya Sontoku, Confucian Scholar Nakae Toju, and Buddhist Priest and Founder of his namesake school of Buddhism, Nichiren. Through an overview of their lives, Uchimura shines a light on Japanese morality and ethics. Footnote. Uchimura Kanzo was a Christian evangelist and thinker. He was born in Edo to a lower-class warrior family, was introduced to Christianity at Sapporo Agricultural College, and was baptized shortly thereafter. He was the leader of the Mukyokai, non-church movement, which did not oppose the existence of churches, rather, it emphasized the Bible over the church as a place of worship, and posited that any place where believers naturally congregated could function as a church. Among Uchimura's classmates at Sapporo Agricultural College was Nitobe Inazo, who became his lifelong friend. Footnote. Saigo Takamori was one of the three great nobles who led the Meiji Restoration. The others are Okubo Toshimichi and Kido Takayoshi. He is one of the real last samurai who built the foundation of modern Japan. As a proponent of the Sonno Joi movement, he brought together the forces of the Satsuma clan, modern-day Kagoshima prefecture, and the Choshu clan, modern-day Yamaguchi prefecture, and forced the bloodless surrender of Edo Castle. However, later he worked to protect the warriors who had effectively lost their jobs due to the Meiji Restoration and ended up returning to Satsuma after clashing with the Meiji government. Feeling that the country was rushing headlong into westernization, he led a rebellion against the new government, lost, and committed ritual suicide as a result. Today, a statue of Saigo and his pet dog stands in Ueno Park in Tokyo and serves as a popular meeting spot. Footnote. Uesugi Harunori or Uesugi Yozan, was a daimyo and head of the Yonezawa clan, modern-day Yamagata prefecture, during the second half of the 18th century. Determined to overhaul his domain's finances, Yonezawa was then on the cusp of bankruptcy. Uesugi put resources into developing industries like sericulture, textiles, and pottery. He thereby laid the foundations for modern-day Yamagata prefecture, which is known for its traditional crafts. What's more, Uesugi himself became a model of frugality and fiscal discipline, and is known as a paragon of the adage, true knowledge begets action. He is also famous for his twist on Takeda Shingen's view on self-discipline. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. If you do not do it, it will not happen. That is true for all things. If something is not accomplished, it is because no one did it. Footnote. Ninomiya Sontoku, born Ninomiya Kinjiro, was a Japanese agricultural leader and thinker. Overcoming a childhood marked by tragedy, repeated natural disasters and the death of his parents, he restored his family's household with dedication and effort. He went on to restore a number of abandoned lands as an agriculturalist. He taught himself about Shinto, Buddhism, and Confucianism, 
and his experiences led him to develop an economic ideology similar to the Golden Rule that says that if you contribute to society or your region and community, you will eventually receive the benefits. The philosophy of moral requital. Ninomiya became renowned as the ideal of the diligent worker, and bronze statues of him in his youth, shouldering firewood and reading a book, have been put up at elementary schools across the nation. These days you don't see the statues as often, as they've been criticized for unintentionally promoting the idea of walking while on a smartphone as being okay. Footnote. Nakae Toju was a Confucian scholar known as the father of Neo-Confucianism in Japan. He was also known as the Sage of Omi. Born to a family of farmers, he was adopted by his warrior grandfather and later went on to become a retainer of the Ozu clan. However, at 27, he left the clan to return home to Omi province, modern-day Shiga prefecture, and take care of his mother. There, he founded a school called Toju Shoin, where he taught his students concepts like ko ko, valuing your parents and respecting your ancestors, and true knowledge begets action. He espoused the doctrine of human equality. Footnote. Nichiren was a Japanese Buddhist priest who lived in the 13th century and whose teachings became the foundation for the Nichiren school of Mahayana Buddhism. Nichiren is based on the idea that everybody is born equal, and everybody can attain Buddhahood. It also emphasizes the importance of the Lotus Sutra, one of the most popular of the Mahayana Sutras, and maintains that anybody who chants nam myo ho renge kyo can attain enlightenment. This also means that not chanting the mantra will cause famine and natural disasters. Nichiren was placed into exile after criticizing the shogunate, but remained steadfast and stuck it out. After his death, his disciples clashed over their interpretation of his teachings and split off into a number of branches. One of those schools is Nichiren Shoshu, from which the Soka Gakkai was expelled. 3. Bushido, The Soul of Japan Nitobe Inazo's best-known book was written in English and published in 1900. Faced with a society undergoing westernization and changes in the Japanese way of life, Nitobe sought to examine the Japanese essence. He wrote Bushido in order to introduce the West to the philosophy that systematized the ethics, morality, and values of Japan's warrior class. Using fluent English, he provides a look into the core of Bushido, and, intriguingly, compares it to chivalry in medieval Europe. Upon release, the book became a bestseller in English-speaking countries, and remains a touchstone for all interested in the Japanese psyche. Nitobe Inazo was a Japanese educator and thinker. Having been interested in Christianity since before he began attending Sapporo Agricultural College, he was baptized soon after he began attending. After graduating, he moved to the U.S. in the hope of bridging the Pacific. He studied economics at John Hopkins University, while also becoming a member of the Religious Society of Friends, Quakers. After spending some time studying in Germany, he returned to Japan and taught as a professor at Sapporo Agricultural College and other universities. As a Christian, he advocated for international peace and worked to improve ties between Japan and the U.S. through his post as one of the Undersecretaries General of the League of Nations. 4. The Book of Tea Okakura Tenshin's English-language book attempts to introduce the Japanese tea ceremony to Western audiences. He talks about the tea ceremony's relationship with Zen, Taoism, and traditional flower arrangement, and explains how the spirit and aesthetic has influenced the daily lifestyles of Japanese people. Like Nitobe Inazo's Bushido, this book is a seminal work that has been especially widely read by foreigners. Okakura Tenshin, aka Okakura Kakuzo, was a Japanese scholar and thinker. He played an integral role in founding the Tokyo School of Fine Arts, and is considered a pioneer of the study of Japanese art history. At a time when westernization was taking root in the country and Nihonga and other traditional Japanese arts were in danger of disappearing, Okakura took the mantle of art historian and art critic to push Japanese art to evolve. At the same time, he wrote many books in English in order to convey that culture to people overseas. 5. Zen 
This primer on Zen Buddhism is comprised of seven papers written in English for Western audiences by D.T. Suzuki. He explains the essence of Zen and how it is different from other schools of Buddhism and Christianity as well. Modern Japanese, who seem to be more adrift than ever, would stand to gain much from this book, precisely because it was not written with them in mind. Readers are sure to come to new insights. T.T. Suzuki was a Japanese Buddhist scholar known for spreading interest in Buddhism and Japanese Zen Buddhism to the West. Well versed in both Western literature and Western philosophy, Suzuki was able to convey the Zen spirit to Westerners in a language that they would understand. He left behind many works in English and was instrumental in helping the West achieve a deeper understanding of Eastern thinking. 6. Epilogue in upcoming installments in this series, I plan to write more about books on Japan and the Japanese identity. More specifically, those written by non-Japanese writers, and those written by both pre-war and post-war Japanese intellectuals. Books in Magazines 007 Books written in English by Japanese authors Famous books on Japan to read before you're 30 2. www.digtokyo.jp